Ni hao, Puyo men. Hi, friends. So this week, we are going to start with our fashion show. But before I show you examples of what I am looking for in the fashion show, we are going to go over some rubrics, meaning criteria for what we're going to do in our video. Okay, so we're going to talk about our fashion runway rubric. So what we're looking for in this fashion show video, this project, this final project with our clothing and talk about how to describe it, right? So our video criteria. So make sure your video is about 50 seconds or shorter so that when I'm putting them together, it's not going to be this whole long video for everyone to view. So make sure that you try to shrink it down as um, close to 50 seconds as you can. Then make sure that your video should include appropriate music. And during the runway walk, if you don't have it, it's OK, but you'll make your video that much better. Then your video should be filmed in a very well lit area so you can actually see what you're wearing, right? And, and wh what you're describing. Then at the end of your video, you need to cover up your camera just like so to end your video so that we can have video transitioning. Of course, your video will be scored on. Either you get si, four points, san, three points, er, two points, or e, you got to work on it some more, okay? So your clothing, if you introduce Four pieces of clothing you get, si, which is the maximum amount of points. And if you want to do more, by all means, do more. Just make sure you keep it under 50 seconds. Then san, then if you introduce three pieces of clothing, er, right? Uh, e, so obviously. So the more you introduce, the more points you get. Then this thing is called language accuracy. What it is, is what are the Chinese sentences you're speaking, right? So I'm going to make sure that you understand what are some sentences we're looking for. So you get four points si, if you introduce your name, your age, and say things in complete sentences, not just, you know, like chang shou, duan shou, but you're actually doing using the phrases and using sentences. Then san, if you just say your name, wo jiao, Wajiao Peyton, Wajiao Sarah, um, Wajiao Abriel, so, and then say in sentences. And er, er, you speak in almost complete sentences, and e, just gotta practice a little more. Okay. Then tone accuracy and fluency. So, tone accuracy and fluency is you get si, so even a Chinese person, when you're speaking, they can understand you and you speak fluently. There's no hesitation at all when you're introducing your clothing. And then san is you, like, I totally understand you and you're a classmate. Then when they watch you, they can understand you too. Um, but then you kind of hesitate it just a little bit, right? And then er is you still hesitate a little bit. And there are certain things that we couldn't really quite understand you. The majority of time is pretty good. And E is you just got to practice a little more. Okay. Let's talk about some of the required sentences. And let's practice them together. You would say, Ni hao. Ni hao. Okay. Face on. And you would say your name, Wo jiao. Wo jiao. So your name, Wo Jiao Blake, Wo Jiao Jamir, Wo Jiao, right? And I said Wo Jiao Zhang Lao Shi. And then you would say your age, Wo Blank Sui. So Wo and the number in Chinese of your age, and Sui the age, your years old. So Zhang Lao Shi would say Wo Si Shi Si Sui. Mm -hmm. And then most of you would say Wo Qi Sui or Wo Ba Sui. And the next part is wo chuan. Wo chuan. Wo chuan means I'm I am wearing. So when you say the sentence, you would say, I am wearing this. I am wearing that, right? You wouldn't just say red pants. You would say, I am wearing red pants. So make sure when you're doing it, complete sentences means you have to add in wo chuan. 
，我穿非常好。然后你会说，我穿红色的长裤，绿色的夹克，蓝色的围巾。嗯，哦，粉红色的迷你裙和粉红色的迷你裙，然后最后你会说再见 ，and then you cover your hands after you do the runway walk. And I'm gonna show you here in videos of what I mean. And here's my preparation before I even record for my fashion show. I gotta practice my language. I gotta find the clothes I'm gonna wear and practice how to say them, right? Okay. Before I do my fashion show, of course I need to prepare what I'm going to wear and think about my outfit. So for my fashion show, I have decided to go with something really bright. Prepare my 红色的长裤 Decided I'm gonna do 红色的长裤 like bright red long pants, and to match my bright red long pants, I'm going to have my 鼠 my shirt with all the little mouse on it. It's the year of the mouse, remember? So your 鼠的长袖 because it is a long sleeve. But then I can also say.、Mm, 黑色 because he has the black color. 黑色和鼠的长袖，黑色和鼠的长袖。然后呢，我也想要有嗯啊 ，let's make a fashion statement with 蓝色的围巾，蓝色的围巾。Remember the rubric? I want to get a four, so 四 so I want high score, so I must have four items. And then at the end, I want my matching shoes with my 黑色的长袖 with 黑色的鞋子 So to prepare, I need to lay out my outfit, practicing my outfit. So I would say, 我穿黑色的鞋子，蓝色的围巾。黑色和鼠的长袖和红色的裤子 ，and I also have to remember I have to say 我叫张老师 ，my name 和 my age， 我四十四岁。Okay, now that I am ready, I'm going to do my fashion show. So I hope、uh, you went and got your outfit. And prepared and learn to say your outfit, your name, your age, right? So remember, through this video, we can always pause, practice, prepare before you go on to do the next step. Okay, this is the last step. You gotta have some music if you want to、uh, make it a little more exciting. And this is the final product of the fashion show. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. Hi friends! I hope you enjoy my fashion show. So make sure you do a lot of preparation before you film、um, your final video. Okay, and don't forget when you finish your video, cover your cam with your hand. 再见。